the giant panda. Hmm, a bit of green here and... Oh, hi everybody. My name is Leo and I am a junior ranger. This is my puppy, Hero. <coughs> this? Oh, I'm painting the garden. But it's missing something. Hmm. <gasps> That's it. Hero, go sit over there. Then I'll paint you in it. <coughs> Thank you, Hero. Perfect. This looks a bit strange. Wait, why is Hero black and white? And why does Hero look rounder? Hey, you're not Hero. You're a bear? There you are, Hero. Where did you go? And who are you? Are you lost? Hmm, where did it come from? You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Look here, bear. Hi, Katie. I found a black and white bear in our garden. I just sent you a photo. Hi, Leo. I received the photo. That's a panda bear. Can you find more information about it? Yes, I can. That's great. I'm coming right over. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be back soon. Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Hi, Katie. Did you find any information? Hey, Leo. The computer is coming up with information about our new friend. There. A panda, also known as panda bear, or a giant panda. A giant panda? But it looks small. That's because this panda is a young panda. It can grow up to 1.5 meters long and weigh more than you, me, and Hero combined. Where do giant pandas come from? Giant pandas come from the central parts of China. There, they live almost entirely on a bamboo diet. They love eating bamboo. There's no bamboo in the garden. We have to find a place where there is bamboo. Come and join us. That's a good idea, Leo. See you downstairs. For lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go. For lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Hi, Junior Rangers. Welcome to the rainforest. I see that you brought a panda friend. Yes, he's a young giant panda. We found out that panda's main source of food is the bamboo. You're absolutely right, Katie. A giant panda has to eat a lot of bamboo. In order to do that, this black and white bear spends half the day eating. They prefer to be alone and do not move around much. What if their predators come? Despite their large size, giant pandas can climb trees very well. They can swim, too. They have ways to protect themselves. Unfortunately, Giant pandas are hunted for their fur, and they are losing their homes and food because bamboo forests are disappearing. There are only about 1,600 to 3,000 pandas left in the wild. Oh dear, we must save this young panda. We are trying to find its home in the forest, Ranger Rocky. Well, this is not the right forest. What you need to find is a bamboo forest. And bamboo forests can be found high in the mountains. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. 
here's a grassland, and on this side is a mountain. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a grassland, and over there, a mountain. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go to a mountain. We can find a bamboo forest on the mountain. Let's go. We are finally at the mountain, and brrr, it's cold. Let's put on our scarf and gloves. Good idea, Leo. Did you see any bamboo? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's walk around to find the bamboo forest. <laughs> what is it, Hero? Oh no! The young panda is gone. Where did it go? It must have wandered off while we were putting on our scarves and gloves. We have to find him. Can you smell the panda, Hero? <laughs> Great. We'll follow you. Hey, I saw something black and white behind that rock. Oh my, it's not the young panda. It's a raccoon. Sorry, raccoon. Can you smell the young panda, hero? There, something black and white behind those plants. It's a mother goat with her children. She looks angry. Let's go. <coughs> I think Hero found something. There you are. We've been looking for you, Panda. Phew. I'm glad that it's safe. Now, where do we find a bamboo forest? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Now, if you want to find the bamboo forest, just look for sticks that are green and tall. Not for a bouncing ball or your sister's baby doll. But look for sticks that are green and tall. I see. So not for a bouncing ball or your sister's baby doll. But, but look, look for, for sticks, sticks that are, that are green, green and tall. tall. OK, Hero, to find a bamboo forest, you have to look for sticks that are green and tall. Good luck! <laughs> okay, Hero. There are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be a bamboo forest. Are those bamboo plants? No, those are palm trees. Let's move on. Can you tell what those are? Yes, those are rocks. So let's continue. What are those? Those are sticks, tall and green. So they must be bamboo plants. We found the bamboo forest. Good job, Hero. We'll be right there. We did it. We found the bamboo plants. Great work, everyone. Yay! We found a young giant panda in our garden. We learned that giant pandas live in bamboo forests in the mountains. So we found a bamboo forest where he can eat all day. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Malayan Taper. Hi everybody, my name is Leo. I am a junior ranger and this is my puppy, Hero. Do you want to see what's inside this book? 
It's filled with animals that can camouflage. Camouflage means the animal can hide in the environment because of its skin or fur. Look, here's a picture of an owl on a tree branch. Can you see it? And this tiger is really hard to see in the high grass. Camouflage helps animals hide from predators, but sometimes it helps the predator so it can sneak up on other animals. Hey, maybe there's an animal hiding in our garden right now. Let's try to find it. How strange. Could this be an animal? Hey, it is an animal. I wonder what animal this is. I know. Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Hold still, little one. Hi, Katie. Are you there? We found a strange animal in the garden. And we're not sure what it is. Hi, Leo. I've received the photo, and that sure is an unusual animal. Can you find more information about it? Leave it to me. Great. I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here with our new friend. I'll be right back. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, so did you find out what animal it is? Hi, Leo. The animal you found is a baby Malayan tapir, also known as an Asian tapir. A Malayan tapir? There are five different types of tapirs, but Malayan tapirs are the only tapirs found in Asia. Why does the baby tapir look so different from its mother? That's because the fur coat of the baby tapir acts as camouflage and helps it blend in with the forest floor. It makes it hard for other animals to hunt them. When the Malayan tapir gets older, its coat starts to fade and it will look just like its parents. I see. What about the food they eat? Malayan tapirs feed on leaves, fruits and plants. They use their long snouts as hands, which they use to pick their food. That sounds handy. Malayan tapirs live in rainforests in different countries in Southeast Asia. The one you found comes from this place. It must be lost without its mother. And its camouflage doesn't work very well in our garden. We should bring it back home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. I'm sure the baby taper would love that. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun. Welcome to the rainforest, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you've brought along a very rare friend. Very rare? Very rare because there aren't many of them left. Malayan tapirs are an endangered species. That means they are animals that are in danger of disappearing forever. That's terrible. Why are they in danger of disappearing forever? They are endangered because more and more of their forests are cut down. And sometimes they are also hunted by humans. Oh no! Then we have to make sure we return this little one home to its mother. If you want to find the baby taper's mother, keep a lookout for riverbanks near a lot of trees and plants. Malayan tapers like to live near water, so they can bathe and swim, and the trees give them shade. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a riverbank with lots of rocks. And over here is a riverbank with lots of trees and plants. 
Do you know where we should go? Over there is a river bank with lots of rocks, and over there is a river bank with lots of trees and plants. So where should we go? There, that's right. We need to go to the river bank with lots of trees and plants because it gives the tapers shade. Let's go. Come on, everyone. We're getting close. What was that? Did anyone hear that? Ah! Look how fast Baby Taper can run! Oh no! The tiger is trying to catch the Baby Taper. Hero, be careful! Wait, they're coming back. Leo, use this. Good idea, Katie. Let's hope this works. Now. Now let's get the jeep here. The tiger didn't appear yet, so I think it worked. But what about Hero? Don't worry about Hero. His nose can lead him here. Quickly, let's go in the jeep. Oh no! Something's coming. Hero. Hero! Good work, Hero. Now let's go. What should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the Mother Taper. Just look for the colors black and white, not for a flashlight or a dragon kite, but look for the colors black and white. I see. So not for a flashlight or a dragon kite, but, but look, look for, for the, the colors, colors black, black and, and white. white. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero. To find the baby Taper's mother, you have to look for the colors black and white. Good luck. Okay, Hero. There are a few dots in your radar. One of them might be the mother of the baby Taper. Is that the baby Taper's mother? Hmm, that's a rock. Let's continue. Can you see what's in the water? That's right. Those are otters in the water. So let's look somewhere else. What's that? Is that black and white? Yes, it is. Hey, it's moving. It's the mother taper. Great work, hero. We're coming over. We did it. We found the baby taper's mother. Great work, everyone. Hooray! Yay! a baby Malayan taper in our garden. We learned that the Malayan taper lives near river banks with lots of shade. So we went to the rainforest and brought it back home to its mother. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. The Yellow-Eyed Penguin What's the matter, Hero? Did your name sign fall off? Oh, hi everybody! My name is Leo. I am a Junior Ranger. And this is my puppy, Hero. Oh yeah, the name sign. Don't worry, Hero. I'm sure we can fix it. Hey, was that a penguin? I think it likes your doghouse, Hero. <laughs> Shh! I think you're scaring it, Hero. Hi, penguin. Don't worry about Hero. He won't bite. Oh, you have yellow eyes. This must be a very special penguin. 
You know what we should do? Let's take a photo and send it to my sister Katie. She is also a junior ranger. Don't be shy, Penguin. Hi, Katie. I just sent you a photo of a penguin. It was hiding in Hero's doghouse. Hi, Leo. Wow, this penguin looks very special. Can you find more information about it? Of course I can. Great, I'm coming up. Hero, you stay here and watch our new friend. I'll be right back. <coughs> Come on, everybody. Let's go into the treehouse. Katie, so what did you find? Hi, Leo. This penguin is called a yellow-eyed penguin. It is one of the rarest penguins in the world. That means there aren't many of them left. Yellow-eyed penguins are only found in parts of New Zealand and some islands around it. Wow, so we're very lucky to meet one. What do they eat? Yellow-eyed penguins eat fish and squid which they catch in the sea. However, their natural home is in the forest of New Zealand. So after a day out at sea, they return to their nests deep in the forests. Since yellow-eyed penguins are endangered, it's important that they have more babies. That's why this penguin should live in a place where there are other yellow-eyed penguins. Which means we should take it home. Come and join us. Great idea, Leo. See you downstairs. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, here we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Come on, everybody. Join me in this party. One, two, it's your turn for lots of fun and lots to learn. One, two, off we go for lots of fun and lots to learn. Ranger Rocky! Hello, Junior Rangers. Ah, I see you have a yellow-eyed penguin with you. Yes, Ranger Rocky. It was hiding in Hero's doghouse. Perhaps the yellow-eyed penguin thought the doghouse was its nest. Yellow-eyed penguins are known for their loud calls. They use these calls to greet or look for one another. Unfortunately, many of the forests where yellow-eyed penguins live have been destroyed. Another danger for them are larger animals that hunt them and, of course, humans. Many tourists love to come and see these rare animals. Unfortunately, some of these people do not behave in the right way. They get too close to the yellow-eyed penguins, make too much noise, or take photos with the camera flash on. These actions scare the penguins. So... If people want to see the yellow-eyed penguins, they should watch them from far away and remain quiet. Right, Ranger Rocky? Correct. Yellow-eyed penguins are very shy, especially during breeding season. They do not like much interaction. That's why they nest deep in the forests that are near the sea. They even prefer to nest away from each other. Good luck, Junior Rangers. Thank, Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. Let's see what we can find. Here is a beach. Hmm, I don't see a forest nearby. And on this side is a forest near the sea. Do you know where we should go? Over there is a beach with no forest nearby. And over there is a forest near the sea. So where should we go? There? That's right. We need to go there because yellow-eyed penguins live in forests near the sea. Let's go. Look, Leo, there are two yellow-eyed penguins there. They are making the loud calls Ranger Rocky told us about. A yellow-eyed penguin is shouting too. The people here call the yellow-eyed penguin hoi-ho, which means noise shouter. So they call them hoi-hos. Hey, what's that? Oh no, there are two tourists over there, and they are taking photos. 
The penguins are running away. They must have been frightened by the camera flashes. Leo, we have to stop them from coming too close to the penguins. Hero, where are you going? There he is. Maybe we can use sticks to build a fence. A fence could stop the tourists from coming closer to the penguins. Hmm, no. That would take much too long. Yeah, you're right. I know. Do you have markers, Leo? Yes, I do. Here. Hero, I think we'll need one more stick. Great idea, Katie. Let me help you. There. That should do it. And there's Hero, just in time. Yes, it's working. Hooray! Look, the penguins are coming back. So, what should we look for now? Hello, Junior Rangers. Ranger, Ranger Rocky. Rocky. If you want to find the yellow-eyed penguin's nest, just listen for the hoy-ho's call. Not for the sound of a bouncing ball or the sound of a waterfall, but listen for the hoy-ho's call. I see. So not for the sound of a bouncing ball or the sound of a waterfall, but listen, listen for, for the, the hoy-ho's hoy call. call. Thank you, Ranger Rocky. Okay, Hero, to find the yellow-eyed penguin's nest, you have to listen for the hoy ho's call. Good luck! Hero, there are a few dots on your radar. One of them might be the yellow eyed penguin's nest. Is that the hoy ho's call? Hmm, no. That sounds like the chirping of birds. So let's continue. How about this? Is it the hoy ho's call? No, that's the sound of dogs barking. Better look somewhere else. Here, is that the hoy ho's call? Yes, it is. I think we found the yellow-eyed penguin's home. Good job, Hero. We're coming over. Look, there's another penguin. It must be our penguin's mate. We did it! We found the yellow-eyed penguin's home! Great job, everybody! Hooray! Yay! We found a yellow-eyed penguin in our garden! We learned that the yellow-eyed penguin is rare and endangered and that they live in the forest. So we took it back to its home where it can be safe. Good job, children. You did it. You are amazing wildlife rangers. Mission accomplished. 